Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, darling, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculptures you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was making them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have book one two and three and the book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck which is based off of these beautiful dolls you see sitting behind me who are the main characters in my story in today's video the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you some insight thank you so much for watching hello darlings to better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the burgundy with black lace divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of what you need to leave behind. So first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what you need to leave behind. The first card I have for you, this is from our giant beauty goddess love deck. Your card says, let me get our focus here. Let love grow. Slow down. Here we go. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you there. True love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties. The next card I have for you is some Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara in terms of what you need to leave behind. And the message she has for you is your highest and best self is your only competition. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is, 
cards have to be held. Let me see. Her message to you is, your self-worth is non-negotiable. The next card I have for you, the last card I have for you in terms of what you need to leave behind, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, and her message to you is, do what you love and become who you are meant to be, darling. Do what you love and become who you are meant to be. So these are the cards that I have for you. At the end of the reading, I'm going to give you your message from your skull being. Hello, darling. If you selected the cream and black burgundy butterfly, this is the message for you on what you need to leave behind. You need to leave behind the need to please others at your own expense. You are going you are too giving, too kind, too selfless. You need to start putting your own needs first. That is this is the primary message of your cards. You need to leave behind the need to com compete with others on matters that hurt you in the long run. You don't need to buy the most expensive expensive gift, darling. Bring the most food to the potluck. You don't need to give everybody a ride. You are trying to outshine, outdo, outgive everyone else. And this is depleting you of your emotional, psychological, and physical well-being. You are included in the highest good for all parties. Do you know what I'm saying? If you don't have the time or money, say no. If you have the time or money and money and you would rather spend that time alone nurturing yourself, still say no, darling. Your self-worth is non-negotiable. That is one of the most important cards in your reading. Give your time, energy, and resources to yourself. Give some to yourself. You don't need to give everything away so that you can fulfill your purpose and achieve your life goals stop giving from an empty pot to feel whole and full so um, let your love grow slow this is another card that you received that is very important and it's still tying into to stop giving so much of yourself away you're going to leave behind the need to try to make everyone ha happy or to you know to give too much of yourself away um, let people show you how much they love you you know not so not always about you always giving to other people and showing them how much you love them let somebody else give you love and kindness you the, the, let someone else give you the love and kindness that you so freely give to others this is the message from your um, I'm sorry from your skull being Leave behind the belief that you need to earn the love of others by doing more than they deserve to receive from you. When you give more to people than they deserve, it decreases their ability to give you the respect, appreciation, and gratitude that you deserve because people respect things, because people do not respect things that are free. People see things that are free as lacking value. So this is the message I have for you in terms of what you need to leave behind, which is primarily being too kind, too nice, too giving, to give some of that to yourself. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of what you need to leave behind. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition. The first card I have for you is from my love deck and it says, show them how much you love them. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you in terms of what you need to leave behind. Gather information with an open mind. 
The next card I have for you is over here. It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib and her message to you is is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is your talents, gifts, and special skills are coded in your DNA. I think she represents our root chakra. And I have one more card for you. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chabi. And her message to you in terms of what you need to leave behind is... Be your own hero. So now I'm going to give you my collective reading. Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this is my collective intuition on what you need to do or what you need to leave behind. Newsflash, I'm sorry, Oprah's not calling, Tyler Perry doesn't need any writers. No one is coming to save you. Whatever you want, you must get it for yourself, child. You must leave behind the secret desire of being discovered or being saved or somebody offering you this multi-million dollar contract or coming to you and saying, Hey, you, I'm going to save you and make all your dreams come true. The truth is, you really need to be your own hero. That is what you need to leave behind is the secret desire to be saved. You must also leave behind any self-defeating beliefs, negative self-talk as to why you cannot have everything you want. You were born with everything you need to succeed and achieve your goals and dreams. That's, that is what is represented by the card of Katara. You are rich, child. You are already rich. You already have everything you need. You just need to believe in yourself and let that seed grow. You must leave behind making decisions that do not look at long-term effects and big picture and the big picture impact your emotions have on yourself um, or how your actions will hurt you and others in the long run. I had a strong feeling during this reading that maybe you um, you get kind of emotional and you do things that may hurt you. When you're angry, you don't really think about how it's going to affect you two weeks later. And a lot of times it takes it takes other people a longer time to get over things that we may have said just because we were angry. You also need to leave behind beliefs and dogma and ideology that no longer, that no longer serve you. Um, you are a very intelligent and wise person and it's time for you to grow. You will leave behind having a closed mind and thinking um, within within your current comfort zone. You need to expand your mind with new ideas. You will leave behind the need to be right and be willing to express how much you love someone even though they may have different beliefs or they may have hurt you. We are not talking about major differences. We're talking about minor differences. Like maybe you, they have a different perspective, a political perspective or a different religious perspective. The cards are asking you to be more compassionate and look at the bigger picture and see the good in that person. So just to, you know, to be a little bit more compassionate and a little bit more understanding and allowing space a space in your life to love people who are not exactly like yourself. Um, the big picture is you will focus on being emotionally stable. That is the part one of the I think it's the primary energy I'm picking up from this reading is that you will be more emotionally stable so that you can make good decisions that would benefit you and the people that you love. Um, and now I'm going to give you the reading from your uh, skull being your strawberry quartz st skull being and it says um, you need to leave behind um, wanting more from others than you are willing to give you have high expectations from others but you do not 
hold yourself to the same standards. Look within your heart and focus on being more understanding of other people's situations and their perceived failings. The perfection that you are seeking from others does not exist. Leave behind the need to, for you to be perfect. Uh, this is limiting the amount of love, support, and abundance from entering into your life. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the black and pink divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of what you need to leave behind. First, I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what you need to leave behind. I'm also going to include a message from this beautiful rhodonite star alien, I mean, alien uh, skull. So the first card I have for you is from my Jungle Beauty Goddess Love Deck. And it says you cannot fake, you can't fake passion, darling. Yeah, you can't fake the passion. You know, it's not one of those things a pill can fix or you can, somebody can trick you into doing. Passion is, comes from a divine place. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you in terms of, here we go. Forgot about the lighting. What you need to leave behind. Do it now. So whatever this message is, is something that needs to be taken care of immediately. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And it says, live as if the only time you would ever have is now. I think that is very powerful. The next card I have for you is from Dematter, who represents most powerful creative force in the universe. Dark energy, dark matter. It says, just because you have power, it doesn't mean you have to use it. And the next card I have for you, darling, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is, let me get her in focus here. do more and talk less so first I'm going to give you my collective intuition and this will also include a message from the rhodonite skull hello darling if you selected the rhodonite and black and pink divine feminine butterfly this message is for you in terms of what you need to leave behind you don't need to control everyone. Stop telling people what you're going to do. You need to leave behind the need to give the perception of being controlling so that you do not have to focus on yourself or what you're missing or focus on, you know, your own unhappiness. So you control, you always, I'm not saying you always but according to the cards you have a tendency to be controlling but it's really your way of covering up your own unhappiness with your own life you need to leave behind the need to tell people um, your your you know your plans or tell people what to do you need to talk less and do more as indicated in the cards meaning that you know, you don't need to say, well, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to start my channel. I'm going to write my book. I'm going to, no, just do what you're going to do with your life. You need to stop procrastinating. Oh, I'm sorry. That's one of the biggest messages from your hand on what you need to leave behind. You need to leave behind procrastination um, and follow through on your goals and tasks that you set off for yourself. You need to leave behind the need to put things off. Stop saying what you're going to do. Take action and do it now. That is a, a part of your reading. You know, to do it now. It's like, but there, the reason that you're not doing it now 
is that according to the cards, it's because you don't feel passionate about your life. You, you know, you're not doing things that really make your heart happy. And once you um, are able to do some things that make you happy, you will move in the right direction. Also, you need to take advantage of the moment. You need to leave behind waiting for something better to come along or putting off things that you need to take care of immediately. So we, we have a, you have a lot of energy about putting things off um, until you find or participate in the things that truly make you happy. It is going to be difficult to get moving, um, to stop procrastinating and living in your personal power because you can't fake passion. You have a card that says you can't fake passion and what that means is that, you know what I'm saying, it's like if you really don't feel the desire or you know, you can't make yourself like a movie that you don't like or like a book that you don't like. You can't, you know, you can't fake passion. So until you feel passionate about what's going on in your life, it's going to be difficult for you to move past procrastination and take action. The message I have for you from your star alien being, from I'm sorry, from your skull being, um, your rhodonite skull being, it says, um, you need to live, leave behind old wounds, hurts, and disappointments from your childhood. This is blocking your ability to be creative and experience a blissful ex existence. You should wear the color orange. You should wear um, gemstones such as orange calcite orange adventuring, carnelian, and other orange gemstones to balance and harmonize your second chakra. And once you release these blockages in the, your second chakra, you will feel more motivated and passionate about your life and this re will remove your need to be, um, your need to procrastinate. This is the reading of, I really hope and this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.